WCTV Pinpoint Weather with meteorologist Rob Nukatola. Well, good morning, everybody. There is activity on the radar. It's not in our area yet, but it's close. Starting to work its way across near Destin. So we'll be tracking that through the morning. That means we probably have a couple hours before those rains get here. 61 right now in Tallahassee, 59 in Thomasville, 57 in Valdosta. The rain bucket is awfully dry for the month, and we're running out of time. Just a couple of days left to try to make up some of that deficit, which is now three and two third inches for February. Hit 73 yesterday. I think we can get there again today. We're supposed to be starting in the mid 40s. Most of us pretty close to 60. It's 60 at Quincy. It's 63 at Bainbridge. St. Mark's the warm spot at 64. Got a handful of 57s. Our cool spots for Cross City, for Perry, for Valdosta, for Moultrie, and for Tifton right now. We also have some of that fog in some of our south and eastern areas. Perry to Cross City visibilities at a quarter mile or less. So we've got a whole bunch of different things going on out there. Most of us that were watching this blob working its way along the Gulf Coast to our west. That looks like it's moving just south of east, and that probably means our areas in South Georgia get a little less activity compared to what we find down towards I-10 or even down towards the coast, where we'll likely find the most activity. Now, these showers should hold together fairly well. There likely will be some thunder and lightning mixed in there with it, too. I don't see anything dangerous or big with it, but I certainly do think we can get a couple of good soakings as we get past 9, 10 o'clock this morning for central parts of the area and maybe lasting until 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon in far eastern areas. So it's going to take another couple hours for it to get here and then a couple hours for it to get through. So we've got some time to maybe head out the door a little early this morning to get those morning routines done before the rains get here if you're trying to beat it. Otherwise, 9, 10, 11 o'clock looks like a pretty wet period for a lot of us this morning. And then as we go through the next couple of days, we're going to keep things unsettled. I think later this afternoon it's more clouds than showers. Tonight into tomorrow, more of the same. Yet more shower chances in our forecast for tomorrow as we stay unsettled and more energy slides down across the Gulf Coast. Now, eventually, we are going to bring another cold front to the area. That could bring us back to more winter-like temperatures maybe next week. A lot of maybes, and it's a long way away, so we've got plenty of time to fine-tune that. On the Gulf today, winds out of the east and southeast, 8 to 18. We're doing the high tides next, just before 10 o'clock. 50s and 60s have got the rain chance around 70%. Count on getting wet after 9 o'clock for most of our area, a little earlier to the west. This afternoon, the showers end, the temperatures stay in the 70s, and the clouds linger. Tonight, it's more upper 50s and low 60s. I think tomorrow, we could find and should find a few more scattered showers, probably not as many as today. It's still not winter here, at least not into the upcoming weekend. Maybe Sunday, Monday, that next boundary gets here, and that could cool things down, guys.